now then here we are me and the mutt in the beautiful Yorkshire Dales National Park although technically we're in Cumbria I don't know how that works out anyway it is green it is luscious and I'm going to show you something very special today being the highest waterfall in England cascading off the mountainside 198 meters Courtley Spout although we've got a little bit of blue sky up there do not be fooled by that because we are expecting some pretty horrendous downpours of rain and I've got the kit to cope with it as always so a really decent tent and I've also got some new kit to show you I've got the lightest sleeping bag in the world which tonight might not be warm enough for what I need so I'm layering up and I'm going to show you exactly what I've got to make sure that that works sufficiently and what else we're just out <laughs> with a smile ready to enjoy a little bit of exercise and some beautiful landscape It's a lot windier than I anticipated. Luckily, we're in good safe hands. I've got the Fjell Raven Keb Dome 2, which needs a good test anyway. Oh. I'm wind shot already. Absolutely exhausted. And I haven't even started the climb yet. But here we go. Up this steep bank, all the way up to the start of the waterfall. bottom part of the waterfall and I'll say it's dangerously beautiful we've got that massive cascade of water down there it's just working its way down this valley but I've got the wind trying to push me off down there and that's a hell of a long drop hence why it's dangerously beautiful anyway let me hold on tight and get myself back to safety because this is a very steep slog up here and I do not want to be falling down that because I will not get found for a hell of a long time if I survive the fall that is <laughs> which is probably unlikely anyway let's continue up and see what else we can find <laughs> Cool, see if we can get a bit closer. Oh. Even though it's quite a cold day, it's just nice to have that refreshing moisture come off that. It's a cool place though. Both places you have to be very careful. The whole lot is just one steep banking all the way down and it just falls off into the abyss well as predicted the rain is coming this jacket's not waterproof it's got a DWR coating on but if it starts proper raining
Well, that just absolutely persisted it down. A really heavy shower. I covered the backpack up quickly, but I didn't bother putting waterproofs on because it looks like it's going to pass anyway. And hopefully this will keep me dry enough. Luckily, in my backpack, I have got some down bottoms and some down socks, which are going to keep me lovely and toasty in the tent. So I'm really looking forward to putting those on. But look where I am, look at that waterfall. That is just unbelievable. Stunning place. And it's a shame that I can't really get the drone out and show you properly just because of the weather. But either in the morning, if it's nice and dry and less windy, then we'll get it out. Or I'll be back at a later date and I'll do the whole thing again, but better. Anyway, let's go find somewhere to pitch a tent. dog has marked the spot where we're going to camp for the evening <laughs> he just loves it every single time anyway look at the views that is just fantastic that is going to be my morning wake up flat place to pitch lovely weather it doesn't get much better than this does it it really doesn't Although we are going to take a pound in here with the wind. Anyway, let's get this tent up. against the wind and rain then I've got pretty cold hands now a runny nose but she's up sat beautifully perched on this edge and look at that view we've also got the sun that is just trying to come out over the hill there and if I just bring you over to the edge just fantastic cracking spot anyway let's get in this tent blue's already in hey bluey dog <laughs> he's slightly damp but we'll soon dry off i reckon anyway if i was that snotting everywhere blowing 11s let's uh let's get in and get warm oh dear me it's nice to get out of that wind and the rain stopped which is a good thing but i am damp and that's made my hands very cold and i've got a right chill through my spine as well so it's time to put on my down jacket in fact i've actually got a full pretty much down suit to put on today so we'll start with my down jacket which is the ph designs wafer ultima k jacket and this thing weighs 185 grams without the hood. I've got the hood so it puts it in at about 205 but look how small that is. It is absolutely tiny and I've shown you this before but it's got a operating temperature of about zero degrees. So we'll just give that a bit of a shake. I'll take this off because it's damp. 
and obviously not as warm as having this on. And let's get this on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I need this, definitely. So we'll just give that a minute to start to loft. And then obviously my body heat's gonna allow that to warm up and then keep me a bit warmer. So tonight I'm gonna sleep in the lightest sleeping bag in the world, being the PH Designs Delta Race 100. Now, just so you might have an idea of what sort of size this packs down to, I fit that into a Thermarest Uberlite bag. If you don't have one of these bags, then that is my iPhone 11. And you can see it's pretty much the same pack size as that. And to be honest, you could actually squeeze a little bit more air out of it as well. Anyway, this thing is super lightweight, weighing in at just 200 grams, but it's not going to be warm enough to keep me warm tonight because it's going to be dropping below the operating temperature of that, which is 10 degrees Celsius. And I think we're going to get down to probably about five or six tonight. Right, we're back. I just jumped on the opportunity whilst it was dry to take the dog for a nice walk to try dry him off a little bit just so he's a little bit more comfortable but also because the smell of wet dog in a small confined space like this is not very desirable anyway where was i where was i oh yeah my sleeping bag so i need to make sure that i'm going to be comfortably warm with my sleep system tonight so i need to add to this and I'm going to do that by sleeping in my down jacket inside the sleeping bag. I can also put my hood up there, which is going to trap a little bit more of the warm air closer to my body. And if my hands get a bit chilly, I can just drop them in the pockets and that's just going to obviously help keep my hands warm. So that's me happy from the top of my head down to my waist, but my legs are definitely going to get chilly. So I have also got here from PH Designs, a set of down trousers and these are called the wafer down trousers i'm pretty much sure these are going to be the lightest down trousers you can actually buy anywhere they are 108 no 130 grams only that is it 130 grams and these obviously just pack down to pretty much nothing you won't even notice them in your bag they literally will just shove into any sort of corner so definitely a good thing to carry with you just to add to your sleep system ph designs are all about maximizing the warmth to weight ratio and they do this by using the best quality and lightest materials that you can actually get hold of so in here we've got 1000 fill power down which is the rarest down you can get and it's a hundred percent goose down no messing about mixing it with feathers or anything like that it is literally the best you can get it does come at a cost though Anyway, the bottoms themselves are made from a really lightweight material as well. They've got a stitch through construction, which just obviously allows them to be a little bit lighter weight as well. And the best thing about having down bottoms is the fact that they do not restrict you or constrict you to your sleeping bag to keep your legs warm. It just means that you've got that sort of freedom of movement to sort of sit in them, do your cooking, move around your tent, move around camp, and obviously if you are say like an ultra runner and you get back from your depleted energy day of smashing out a load of miles then it's just amazing to be able to put on a full sort of down set that is just gonna keep you warm rather than you sort of sitting there shivering and having to live in your sleeping bag it's just great just to get them on and you can still carry on doing your duties to keep your event running smoothly Anyway, from these, where are we at now? Head, waist, ankle. We need to now go down and finish it off with our feet. So these are a set of down socks. Again, from PH Designs, and they are ridiculously small. They fit inside my hand there, and they weigh, get this, 45 grams. That is all. They come with this stuff sack, but obviously you can compress them down a little bit more if you need. So these are the wafer down sock, and they're made in exactly the same way as the wafer down trousers with the same materials. They've just got an elasticated sort of band at the top there, which just allows you to slip your 
trouser inside and then obviously it just stops any sort of cold bridging at all for the price you'd expect them to be able to sort of allow you to levitate or possibly be able to do the river dance but again they use the best quality materials possible and if you want the best you sometimes will have to pay for it anyway I'm going to get all this kit on, I'm going to make myself nice and snug and then I'm going to cook myself some lovely dinner. I'm excited to actually get all this on now. Right, let's do it. So there we go, the full down suit on. The dog's already got his full down suit on. He's lucky, he was born with it. <laughs> I do feel like a bit of a Christmas elf though with my little pixie boots on. But straight away, the warmth is just incredible off this. To the point, I think I'm going to sleep on my mat as I am and not bother with my sleeping bag. That will definitely be the best test of this kit. And if I get cold in the night, all I do is get inside the sleeping bag. So I think that is the way forward. I've got to test things properly, don't I? But like I was saying, the freedom of movement of just having some sort of bottoms on like this just means that you can... You know, do a full exercise workout, do some ab exercises. We can do some press ups. That's enough of that. I'm going to start sweating in a minute. Woo. What do you say, Blue? <laughs> dinner time. Blue's just eating his dinner in the background there. And I have for me tea. Pasta Bolognese, which is a British Army a ration pack, and it's in date. That is very unlikely for me. And I've also got some pasta to go with it. So let's get this piled in a pan and then some heat to it. Oof, without spilling it all over my nice down gear. Let's put that on a really low heat. Pop on me tea. I'm just going to give it a stir with this long handle spoon. Tell you what though, it's awesome having a massive vestibule. There's actually acres of space here. And with the Fjord Raven gear as well, you've got this extra bit to slide it back and forth just to give you that bit extra if you need. And there's two, so the dog's got his own. And then I can just doodle here and not worry about him knocking this over or anything like that. Just turn that off. Leave that there a minute. And I want to get my little chair out. Just to at least give me something to lean against. I haven't used this one for a while. Good design though. The only thing is, you can't get hold of these anymore. So that's your frame. There's also another little resting bar, but I never really use that. And then we just need this to make the seat up. So there we go, the chair is ready. And the best thing about this chair is it'll lay flat to the floor and you can just lean against it. So you can have it that way around or you could have it that way around and just lean into it or put your mat up against it. And it just gives you that little bit of extra comfort in your tent. The good thing about this tent is though, let's just see if this is possible. Right, let's see if I can get this to fit. Just move my mat a little bit. Pop my bum in here. Oh. Oh. And there we go. Sat upright with still an absolute massive amount of space above my head. Anyway, I want to enjoy my hot tea in my hot pants. Oh uh, dear, love wearing hot pants. <laughs> All right, I've just boiled myself some water and I'm gonna have a cup of tea in a very different style. It's a three in one tea out of the British Army ration pack. Instant tea powder with sugar and whitener. I don't really need the sugar, but we'll get it opened up and see what it's like. I'm not expecting this to be that nice, but hmm, smells all right. I'll tip it in. I just thought I'd try it just in case 
it is actually quite nice because obviously it's a lot easier carrying a powder than it is carrying some extra milk with you. I actually really enjoyed that tea. I think it's because it's got a bit of sweetener in it in some way. I ain't had a sugar in my tea for years. Anyway, let's get tidied up, put all our wrappers away and every corner of every wrapper leave no trace so everything goes into that and i'm sure you do it already but if you don't just use these sort of like food bags just to sort of shove everything in because it keeps everything together and then you make sure that you don't leave anything <sighs> anyway what do i need to do now not much really apart from lay this lug Mutt's fast asleep already, so I'm just gonna shut all this up. The wind has died, the rain has gone, and I'm hoping in the morning I might be able to show you the waterfall properly with the drone. So I'm gonna get on this sleeping mat, which is, um, it's like a four season one. It's a little bit cheaper than some of the thermarests and things like that, and I've tested it a few times and it does seem to work quite well. But it'll be a good test tonight because I'm going to sleep on it without a sleeping bag. So let's see if it actually does reflect a bit of heat back to me and keep me warm enough in all my down attire. So this tent is huge. I'm in here on my own and I could literally bounce about on a pogo stick. And even if there were two people in here, you could still probably play ping pong. Anyway, I am going to test out my full down kit and I'm pretty sure this sleep system is going to be all right tonight especially sleeping on a four season mat so I'm going to get a bit of heat reflecting back to my body through that and geese sleep outside in Canada Canada geese <laughs> and they're happy so I'm sure I'll be fine anyway we'll see the morning and I'll let you know how I get on take care flowers well that was a pretty wild night there's lots of real squally showers hammering down at this tent and the wind keeps sort of blowing through and just giving us a good shake but we managed and I'll tell you what I was very warm I was quite surprisingly warm to be honest because I'm just in this some down bottoms my little down boots and my jacket I did put a hat on and I did put my gloves on because my uh, hands were getting cold but just incredible the fact that I have kept warm just wearing this without having an actual sleeping bag so yeah quite impressed right let's see what the world has to offer us today I'm not expecting much here well, let's have a look Oh, look at that. Beautiful. We've got that lovely grey pressing cloud enveloping all these beautiful crimson colours of the bracken and those greens. Today is going to be a good day.
The dog is ready. I'm completely packed up, nothing left in here because it's all in my backpack with the rain cover on ready to go. It's just the case now. Drop in the tent and skedaddle in and back down off this hill. <laughs> Dogs. Horrible things, aren't they? I'm only joking. Come on then, let's do it. Ready? Come on then. enough but it has started to rain leave no trace as always one last look at the view and let's skedaddle back down to somewhere dry come on bluey Well, I'm soaking down one side now. The dog makes it look so easy. Leads me into this false sense of security, thinking I can do the same. <laughs> oh dear, completely soaking. Yes, right, you ready to do it again then? This time without slipping. That one's grippy. <laughs> it's gonna be one of them days thriving it just thriving it <laughs> So there we go, that is Courtley Spout. What a beautiful place to come and visit, even though it has been a wild, wet and windy one. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. To the point I've immersed myself in the water just to get a real feel of it. It was on purpose, honestly. It was great testing out some of the PH Designs kit, which was pretty much a full down suit from head to toe. 
and that all weighed in at less than 400 grams and kept me warm all night i mean that is just incredible it really is I also tested the Fjallraven Keb Dome 2 tent. That took a bit of a pounding last night, but it was absolutely fine. And I look forward to taking that out in some proper winter conditions. I will put links in the description for you to have a look at anyway, just so you know and can see what I am using. Anyway, if you've liked the video, as always, give it a big fat thumbs up. That is a thumb in there somewhere. <laughs> and also, if you want to contribute by buying me a coffee in the buy me a coffee link, or joining the Patreon, you can do. Anyway, from me and the beautiful blue, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.